Excuse me, do you speak any English? Do you speak English, anyone? English? Se hablo inglés. You speak English? Si. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am. Um, hey, I'm lost. I, uh, I I lost my friends. Three um, three um, guys look kind of like me, but not really like me. But they're Americans. Americanos. You've seen Americanos. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. I've seen plenty of them. Oh. Everywhere. <laughs> that's that's just not gonna help me. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. oh, I need to find them. I need. To. They're oh, around yeah. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're yeah they're around somewhere. That's brilliant. <laughs> Tu eres mi alma gemela. I have no idea what you just said, but okay. <laughs> Bella chica. Chica tu madre. Hey, 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 where are you going? Te veo en el paraíso. Okay. I'll go. Hey. Hey. She's a local girl. It's okay. She's harmless. Sort of. Okay. <laughs> But, if you're looking for something unusual, I can do much better than that. <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I need to find my friends. I think you should come with me. Come. We'll find your friends. Hey, you guys speak English? No. Vamos. You help me find my friends? Vamos. Okay. Vamos. Another word, I don't know what that means. Hasta luego. Luego. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Mi casa es su casa. I get it. <laughs> You're a um, fortune teller, right? <laughs> like, I, I don't want to. I don't have time. I need to find my friends. <laughs> Oh, don't know the supernatural, my friend. Yeah, I don't really believe in that stuff, so. It's the day of the dead, El Dia de los Muertos. Time to set aside the world you know. It's not necessary to believe, it just is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think of it as entertainment, if you like. Okay, let's, let's do this. Now, in order for us to search into the deepest part of the universe, we must relax our minds. So drink. Drink. Oh, okay, we won't drink and then we go find my friends. Drink. Oh.
Hello? Wake up. Wake up. Oh, God. Wake up! Fuck! Allison, what are you doing here? Your shift was over two hours ago. Um, I guess my watch stopped. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, that girl in there has been asking for you. Well, she has. I'll go and check on her. Seems like a great girl. She is. You bought her that bike that was in there the other day, didn't you? She's been in the ER for three days. Her parents can't even afford to admit her, let alone buy her a bike. You know she's not going to be around long enough to enjoy it. She will. Don't say that. In our class. In our class. Like Disneyland, but this is not. Okay. 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 All right. Oh my God! Hi, Super. <laughs> How I are thought you? you went back to India. No, my in-laws came from India, and they don't want me to travel in last time. You too? You didn't even tell me about this. Surprise! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Go straight on through it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. There she is. How are you? I'm good. I was getting a little worried you weren't coming back to the States. Oh, my God, are you crazy? I wouldn't miss this even if I had to fly your asses all the way there. <laughs> Get your butt in there. <laughs> How is Paris? Oh, my God, Allie, it is amazing. Yeah? I booked a contract to design kids' clothes. That's awesome. Thank you. So when am I going to see you on fashion magazines? I don't plan on being famous anytime soon, but enough about me. Look at you. <laughs> that little turkey is about to pop out. Hey, enough of the turkey stuff. I'm packing a lady killer in here. <laughs> no doubt you are, and soon you're gonna have two. Okay, now I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Tara, great seeing you. Okay, you know you're not public property, or I would have to kill you. Well, fortunately for me, you couldn't kill cockroach. Don't count on it. <laughs> Best behavior, you two. So how'd you get roped up into this? Poker night was canceled. Why does this scarf look so familiar? Allie has one similar to it with her initials on it. Oh. We got it whenever we were visiting New York. Very yeah, Mom. pretty. Yeah, Thanks. Thanks. you guys going great. You look good. Mom. Mom, it's okay. <laughs> you look good. I work out. I like your shirt. You do? Yeah. You should know you're a fashionista, right? <laughs> True. <laughs> So children's clothing. Children's clothing, They're yes. So I lucky. love kids. So lucky. Thanks. You're lucky too. Thanks. Look at this. Baby shower. Amazing. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah? Yeah. What are we talking about here? Baby right. showers. Oh, okay. Hang on. All right, everybody, quiet down. Quiet down. Stand. <clears throat> Very good. <laughs> Dear friends and family, it is our privilege to be part of this wonderful and exciting <laughs> baby shower. Our darling Allie. Not only is she a loving and dedicated nurse to sick kids, but she is also a very nice human being. <laughs> and I know she's going to make an awesome mother, too. Thank you. So we wish her luck, because she'll need it. I know, I got two kids of my own. <laughs> right? Thank you guys, you guys are all awesome. Thank you. All right, enough mushy stuff. Let's open presents. <laughs> what what start with that? We can sit. What is it? Yeah. Huh? Oh wow, it's the eclipse. I read about it this morning. Wow. I have not seen an eclipse since I was a child. Allie, come and take a look. 
That's so beautiful. What is it? Doesn't it kind of put you in the mood? <laughs> oh, not what I was thinking. <laughs> wow, that was re really lame, you guys. In the mood, seriously, over an eclipse. Oh, and that's definitely what got you in the situation. <laughs> What's the matter? In my culture, we believe that watching an eclipse is bad luck for pregnant women. Why? What's wrong with it? Because it can cause birth defects or miscarriage, causing vulnerability for an unborn child. I'm sorry. I must leave. I'm so sorry. Hey, you okay? Babes, you okay? <laughs> Get some towels. Call that one. Go now. You okay? No. Okay. Hurry up! Hi, I'm Doctor Jones. Don't worry, we'll take good care of you. How you feeling? Uh, forget about me. How's my baby? It's all right. But looks like we've lost a lot of blood. The baby's the heart rate is low. He's in distress. We're, is he going to be okay? We're inducing labor to save your son's life. No, no, no. He's not ready. He's not okay, ready. He should be calm. What if he doesn't make it? Hey, hey, hey. What is that? He's the strongest person I know. Okay, I'm going to need you to breathe. I love you. I know. You're going to be fine. The baby's going to be fine, okay? We just have to deliver this baby so he can be all right. I'm going to need you to push hard. No, push. No. Did you take a breath? I can't Please, anymore. breathe deep, please, please. Again, breathe. in, out, now push, push hard. He's doing great. He's doing great. Okay, baby. One more, he's crowded. One more breath, one more breath, and push hard, push. He's calm. God, help us. God? What's he doing? What's he doing? Dr. Jones? He's here. You did it. You did it. Welcome to the world. Christopher Neuron Dunn. Neuron? Neuron. Hey, he made you smile. <laughs> he likes it. I guess if he doesn't like it, he can change it when he's older. I think he sounds like a linebacker. Somebody you want to mess with. He looks tough. He's definitely going to be a linebacker. <laughs> stupid. Your daddy's stupid. That is not true. Don't you believe your mommy? <laughs> mm. Strange weather we're having. Yeah, it looks like a storm's coming in. I've, I've never seen clouds like that before. Maybe we're gonna get a tornado. Yeah, we're gonna get a tornado. We get those in California every day. Okay. I think you stole mommy's brain cells. <laughs> yes, you did. Mm -mm. <laughs> Congratulations, new mom. Mm -hmm. How's the new mom feeling? 
Okay, how about the new dad? The new dad doesn't have a vagina, so I'm sure he's feeling pretty perky. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, she's a bad influence on the baby. Nope. I'll take that. Oh, he is so precious. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's my lot. My car broke down, so I had to take a cab. Oh, Terry, you didn't have to do that. Yes, I did. So you finally have your little prince. Mm hmm. And I better make the most of him. Doctor says I can't have another. No, Allison, you can <laughs> adopt one. Yeah. Listen, I envy you. You are a strong woman, a kick ass wife. <laughs> and the second most beautiful woman under me. <laughs> <laughs> so no more sob stories. Okay. You have a beautiful boy and husband. So bask in it. It only comes once. I love you. I know you do, everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't stay long. I have to head home here soon. Okay. Well, you need Kevin to give you a ride? If you don't mind, mm -hmm. are you sure you'd be okay here by yourself? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I be? So, you think I'm beautiful, huh? <laughs> Don't let it get to your head. I swear, if Neuron has your ego, the world is screwed. Yeah, well. So beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, beautiful. Third time's a charm. <laughs> I swear your son is gonna be a mess of trouble. <laughs> oh, my God, are you serious? What's wrong? Damn it. Oh my God, are you serious? Damn it. I dropped my keys in the cab. Got a bobby pin? I don't know. That'll work. <clears throat> Do you even know what you're doing? I'd like to think so. I used to break into Allison's dorm so she wouldn't get caught coming in late. But uh I look at you. Yep, my ill-spent youth pays off. I know this is no dorm, but I at least owe you another cup of coffee. So you live here by yourself, right? Uh, yeah, about four years. Coffee should be ready in just a minute. You know, Allie is really lucky. She has a new baby and you, a complete family. I'm sorry. I think I got a migraine coming out or something. Do you get those often? No. Not really. Uh, here, let me go check my eyes. Crap out of me. 
out on me. Oh. What do you take for headaches? I don't know. What do you got? Allie has this weird massage thing. Something she picked up from one of those doctor shows. It's strange, but it actually works. Um, oh, I wasn't here, so I just had to settle for this one. No, that, that stuff doesn't settle well with my stomach. No, no biggie. I'll just head back, try to sleep it off. No, no, you're not driving feeling that way. Come here. Sit. I'm serious. I don't do well with aspirin. You made that clear the first time. Are you gonna get me in trouble? I gotta get going. Gotta check in on Allie. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Jones? What are you, what are you doing? I, I, I'm just heading home. I'm fine. Hop in. Let me give I, you a ride. No, I'm good. Becky, get in the car. Come on. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, how long have you been in this neighborhood? Uh, about three or four years. Oh, that makes it easy for working for me, right? Yeah, working for you is um, very interesting. Hazard pay? That sounds about right, yes. I don't think it's too bad. You do a great job, though. Well, thank you. So this left. I don't want to oh, break any here laws here. Right yeah. Here. Perfect. All right, Peck. See you at work. Thank you so All much. All right, take care of yourself. You didn't have
Buenas tardes, señora. Hey. I think Nero is hungry. Do you think I should give him his milk? Yeah, yeah, there's a, a bottle in the fridge. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am, may I ask you a personal question? Yeah, sure. Did you have a natural delivery when you had him? Yeah. Why, what's wrong? <sighs> Nothing, it's just, uh, it's just, just, I just never hear him cry, never. <sighs> Maria, he's fine. I mean, when a child is born, they have to acclimate. They're going through a lot of changes. Their, their bodies, their behavior patterns, their sleeping patterns. He's, he's just adjusting. Did he hurt his head or neck when he was in delivery? No. Why, why would you say that? What's wrong with his head? He's fine. Nothing. It's just that in Mexico, when a kid is born before his or her time, it's not a good thing. Maria, we live in America, okay? You live in America, and I, I don't mean this to sound rude, but we don't have those superstitions in this country, okay? I understand. Good. Now, Kevin and I are going out tonight. Are you okay to watch Neron? Yes, senora. We're in the nursery. Hey. Hey. There's my little linebacker. Yeah, there he is, sleeping. Uh, mommy is gonna go and check tickets, and you have to be ready. We're leaving in half an hour. Why? I'm going to that musical show, remember? All right, let me take a quick shower. Mommy is gonna bore Daddy to death. Wish me luck, buddy. It's gonna be all right, sir. <laughs> yeah, watch this. Hey, babes, what's the name of that musical we're gonna see? It's the Legally Blonde, The Mystery. I meant to tell you that the... Maria. Maria. Yes? Are you okay, ma'am? Hey, babes. Have you been shaving your legs with my razor again? Did you hear me, babes? Yeah. I, Are you okay? Yeah. I, uh... Um, we need to go. Doesn't the show start in half an hour? Yeah. Well, let's go. What's wrong? 
Huh? You haven't said a word since we left. Allison. Did you see Maria's eyes? What? Did you see her eyes? No. What would I have been looking for had I seen them? Just forget it. No, Allie. Tell me what's wrong. Okay, well, this is gonna sound weird, but I know what I saw. When I went to ask Maria something, her her eyes were... They are what? They looked black. Baby, they're dark brown like mine. No, I, like completely black, like the pupils were dilated or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe she was on speed or something. Kevin. What? I mean... Hey, what you're saying makes no sense. Black eyes? Yes. And I know what I saw. <sighs> All right, well, were you wearing your glasses? What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I... It was just a question. Whatever. Look. You're tired. Yeah. You've been kicking ass at this parenting thing since day one. I haven't exactly been fair as far as keeping up. I'm not saying that you sound... Crazy? Yes. I'm just saying that you need a break. This show is a good start. Come on, baby. Okay. She didn't answer. Who? Maria. You called her? Yes, and she didn't answer. She's probably tied up with a 
baby or something. I'm sure she's fine. No, Maria always answers. Babe. Look, you can stay, but I'm leaving. Okay. Damn it. I'm just starting to enjoy this crap. Maria? Your baby. Okay. Maria? Maria? Kevin? Yeah? Maria's not here. He was in the room by himself. What? Yeah. Uh, I'll go check the backyard, see if she's there. She's not in the backyard. Is that yours? It's Maria's. Um, stay calm. I will call the police. Is he okay? Yeah, he's, he's fine. Like I said, she's been our nanny since our son was born. It's just not like her to do something like that. I mean, she would never, ever leave our baby. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Dunn, well, I think we have all the information that we need tonight. If anything comes up, we'll give you a call. In the meantime, if you find out anything, call us, okay? Thanks. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. I think you should go to your mom's. Why? Because you don't need any more distractions. You've already been through a lot since Neuron was born. So you think that I should go and see my mom? Or a shrink? Like, you're the one that said that your mom's going through some serious menopause because she hasn't seen your on. But seriously, just go down there. Clear your mind. I'll take care of things here. Okay. I can't keep avoiding taking your on to see her forever. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I know it sucks having a psychiatrist for a mom. Yeah, it sucks. It make me feel better. So thank you. Three people missing in a week. Any thoughts? Concepts? Hunches? Good ideas. Bad ideas. Messages from space. From a Ouija board. Anything? Couple said they found that when they came home from the show. It's a rosary. It said it belongs to the nanny. No signs of a struggle. Mm. <laughs> Three people vanished without a trace. No evidence. And what is that? All we know is the nurse's house was demolished by who knows what. That was probably a car. Probably a car? I mean, if we don't get a grip, the FBI is going to be all over this. And what's it going to make us look like? Fucking idiot. I don't need a sentence completion service. My ex-wife was a sentence completion service. All I need is a little help here, folks. I think we should start the hospital, sir. It's our best connection. All right. And keep an eye on the couple. You're still here. You can't catch worth a shit. Take that bag.
Okay. I think you need something to calm you down, like sertraline. Sertraline? Yep. It's a nerve pill. Very small doses. Take one daily with lots of water. I'm also going to give you something to help you sleep. Be careful with them. And please, don't dry when you take them. Okay. Are there any side effects? Probably drowsiness, sleepiness, sometimes blurred vision, hallucinations. Great, now I'm going to feel like a druggie. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Doc. Just give me a minute, sweetie, huh? Sure. Excuse me. Sorry. I love the color of the office, Mom. And now, that color is supposed to be very soothing for my patients. Yeah, that's quite something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Neuron is so precious. He's this big, handsome boy now. Yeah. I can't believe you got him to sleep so fast. Mm -hmm. Grandmothers. We've got the touch. <laughs> oh. So, talk to me, sweetie. Kevin tells me you've been really stressed out lately and hallucinating. What? Why would he tell you that? Because he cares about you? No, that his wife is crazy? I can't believe he would do that. God. You know, it took me a while to believe your father was dead. For so long, I was just mad at him for taking his own life because I wanted it to be me instead of him. There was nothing I thought your father couldn't do. Ah, he was the perfect husband, father, friend. There was no comparison to his work as a psychiatrist. His patients all loved him. And as he continued to, to free them all from their mental hell, their hell slowly became his. You can't blame yourself, Mom. It was my responsibility to give him strength when he needed it. I failed him. 
That's why I commend Kevin for doing for you what I couldn't do for your father. Maybe I've been too hard on him. Maybe I'm scared that Neron is going to face the same loss that I did. And you just want to smother him? <laughs> sure. Oh, honey, you always will. You know what I think? I think you should go out on the town and lick your wounds. No, really, don't worry about Neron. I will take care of him and he'll be just fine. This isn't the psychiatrist talking. This is mom. Come here. Thank you. Oh, honey, I love you too. I do. see these past couple days. Oh, there's been a lot going on. Her nanny's missing and cops can't find her anywhere. What, are you serious? Yeah. Uh, maybe she just went back to Mexico or something. Maybe. I hope that's what it is. What else would it be? I don't know. You seemed really stressed. Hmm. I could take care of you. Tara, when Alan gets back, we can't see each other like this. I don't like to be alone. I like it better when you're there. Uh, he's going through a lot right now. I, I can't just pick up and go. Just give me a couple days, okay? I could just stay with you at your house until she gets home. She'd call you before she gets home, right? Yeah, she has to. She doesn't want to come home to an empty house. She said she's definitely going to call. What are you doing in my house? He was on the floor. Not a good place for a young baby. I'm calling the police. I have an appointment. Allison scheduled it for me. My daughter doesn't schedule my appointments.
Some night on the town, Mom. I'll be back. I, I need to put the baby to bed. I will take one vanilla sandwich, please. Thank you. Okay, one dog. No, there's something that I must show you. Have you looked in his eyes lately? I don't know what you mean. There's so much to see. Yes, look at his eyes. Wait, wait right here. I have to put him to bed. Wait, I'll be right back, wait. I need to speak to you, Helen. Do you ever think of me? Hmm. Do you know what it's like to have brought in hell here? Hmm? Hmm. Do you know what you did to me? Do you know what it's like to feel here, you rotten hell? Oh my god, Jim! Well, now you're gonna feel like me. Look at me. Look at me. And now you will. Well, hmm. just give him to me. Oh, no, no, oh, please. God. We got a call about a homicide? Yes. yes. Are you okay? What happened? Someone shot my mom. Someone shot my mom. Did you get a description of the person? No, I just, I just w walked in and found her. Where's the body? Upstairs in the office room. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Why the hell would I know that? Ma'am. 
I'm gonna need you to stay here, ma'am. Step inside, please, ma'am. I'll take the baby, ma'am. Let me have the baby. It's okay. Follow the lieutenant. Step inside, ma'am. Listen, ma'am, there is no dead body. There's not even evidence of a dead body. If you're feeling stress, go see a shrink. Or next time, we are going to arrest you for filing a false police report. Are you on medication? Yeah, but I'm not crazy. We're gonna kill you, too. Let's get out of here. I'm not crazy. Hey, babe, is that you? Hey, what's wrong, baby? What happened? Why do you got home so early? Oh, my what's wrong? My mom. My mom, she's dead. She's... What are you talking about? Kevin, I need you to believe me. Why wouldn't I believe okay? you? I walked into my mom's office and I saw her dead. It looked like somebody had shot her. Okay. okay? But when I called the police, her body was missing. Okay, well, slow down. Her body was missing. Missing. Yes. Okay, th baby, that doesn't make any sense. It... Maybe, maybe you were hallucinating. No. No. I wasn't fucking hallucinating, Kevin. Okay? I saw my mom dead in her office. I saw it, and it was real. Okay, I'm not saying you didn't see it, okay? Maybe someone moved her. No. No. Hey. Hey. Everything will be fine, I promise. Okay, we'll figure this out. Look, we need to get some rest. Get some rest. For me. Okay. Babe. I can explain. No, Patrick, Kevin. <laughs> what are you talking about? In our bedroom, Kevin. Did you do it? Al, <laughs> you've, you've been so different and... Oh, yeah, yeah, and boring and bitchy. What, so you go fuck my... You're sick. And you're a pathetic, unfaithful bastard, and I don't want to see your face again. I don't want to live with you anymore. Get out! Get out! You're fucking crazy and paranoid! You know what? I'm gonna leave now, but I'm coming back for my son. This is not a good environment for him. Go! You need help! No!
Father, I've, I've come to you because I don't know what else to do. I, I don't know why he's so restless. I know why you're here. The problem is not with you. It's your child. Father! No harm will come to your son. The sister will take him outside and watch over him. It's okay. Thank you, sister. You are surrounded by a terrible evil. An evil that'll keep a cloak over you. It will smother you if you take no action. See to your child. See to your child. What do you mean? Detective Corrigan. I believe you're my associates, Detectives Kerr, Detective Ferry. Is, is this about my mom? You found her? Uh, Ma'am, you might have to come inside and talk. Forensics team did find evidence of a blood splatter. Sorry. And there's also the matter of the disappearance of a doctor and a nurse. Pretty sure you know who they are. The ones attended to you during your labor. Dr. Jones is missing? Yeah. Any idea about their whereabouts? I'm sorry, I'll, I'm sorry, officers, I have, Wait, I have to take I, that. Okay. What the hell was that? Hey, you. Okay. How are you, you guys, today, buddy? What do you guys make of her? Uh, she definitely knows when she's telling us. Yeah. I don't know about that. Hi. Mm. What the hell is that smell? Damn. You smelled it first. No. Oh, no, no, Chief. It's not my job. I'm not, I don't do, I don't do that. Wait, can we just wait till she gets back? Oh, oh my oh, gosh, you wow. guys are such babies. Hey, handsome. Oh, you're so adorable. Mm. Do you want me to change your diaper for you? Do you want me to do that? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. I'm sure your mommy won't mind that dirty job okay. being taken care okay. of, huh, buddy? Okay, I'll be right back, you big baby. Mm. Come back here. Huh? How did you get to be so cute? Huh? How did that happen?
How many have died or have gone missing? He will be immortal soon. Once he is immortal, his only agenda will be to rule this earth for a dark millennium. And he will use all the power of Satan to do it, believe me. My son. You must put that out of your mind. He is not your son. He has come to bring forth hell on earth. He was his father. I just have met. Who is he? I can't do this. It's making me crazy. You knew he was different from the time he was born. You know what I say is the truth. You've seen it in your dreams. Who are you? I'm like you. But I've been given a terrible task. I dwell in the void between the terrestrial and the celestial realms. I oversee the balance between good and evil. But now evil has twisted the scale. Are you an angel? No, oh, darling. No. I am not an angel. I'm a mortal like you with a mortal's heart. You must be willing to accept the unacceptable. He is not your son. What you see is only a vessel to something dark and beyond evil. Now, who's his father? Kevin. And my husband, we don't live together anymore. Where is he? He's, he's with another woman. She was my best friend. Listen. He is a conduit for supernatural forces. He is capable of producing even more evil. He must be stopped. It must be stopped. What do you want, Kevin? Where are you? I want to talk to you. We are talking. In person. No, I don't want to see you. You know there's a lot of people looking for you? But I haven't done anything. Kevin, do you even realize what's going on? How many lives are at stake because of you? What are you talking about? I've come to know a lot about you recently. Too much. Where's my son? He's here. Where are you? I want to come get him. No, you're not taking him. Fine. I at least want to see him.
Can I come in? Hey. Hey. Get over here, my little linebacker. Hi. Hi. I missed you. How you doing? We need to talk about our son. That's why I'm here. Let's work this out. No, that's not what I'm talking about. When did you go to Mexico? <laughs> Sit down. Mexico? Really? I don't know. I don't remember. What difference does it make? What does it have to do with this? You went to see some black magic guy in Mexico. And now so much is happening you can't even imagine. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna get some water. Something happened in Mexico. Whatever happened is affecting our son. I know, motel water is disgusting. You want me to get you a bottle of water? No. <laughs> Allie, do you have any idea how crazy you sound? People are dead, Kevin. You need help. You're not well, you haven't been well. <sighs> Allie. Allie. Hey. Affairs of the future. Time is tilted, but not in your favor, priest. Like a bad clock, you must be reset. We have always existed. I am the guardian. You're the guardian of nothing! <laughs> Yeah, she's staying at um, a motel at the end of I-21. Yeah, she's alone. Thank you. Bye. Who was that? <clears throat> that was uh, Dr. Jones, our doctor who delivered Neuron. What did he want? He yeah, um, wanted to know where Allison was. Thinks he can help her out. How did he know you knew where she was? I don't know.
There's not much time. You must end this now. This dagger is from the Holy Land. It was given to me by the one before me, and to him by the one before him, and so on. It is made from the silver of the Holy Chalice. It'll protect you from evil. Everything will be in its place. You should be very proud. Your son will have dominion over all. Yeah. Dominion over sobre todo el mundo. Kevin! Ross! Allison. What do you see at that point? You're all dirty. Nobody's listening to you. Allison, what's going on? Hello? Allison? Allison! Tara, what are you doing? Tara? Tara, no! I thought it was you, and there was nobody there. I looked over, and Tara was standing at the window. The craziest eyes I've ever seen. She was holding on to Neron, and then she just fell out. Neron? He didn't have a scratch on him. Where is he? I don't know. He just disappeared. He was gone. I couldn't even find him anywhere. This is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Sir, I just got a call from the morgue. Two bodies were stolen. What, what bodies? One was just some Jane Doe hooker, but the other was Detective Ferry. Someone stole Detective Ferry's body? What the hell's going on? It gets stranger than that. 
One of our units claimed they seen Detective Ferry steal a black and white from the motor pool. They tried to follow her, but they lost her in traffic. Yeah. Detective Ferry? Yeah, I know that motel. Holy shit. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. Mom! Eleanor. Eleanor. Kevin? What is it? I think I heard Nero on. I heard him cry. Cry? Anybody? You better do what you say. Mr. Dunn, thank you for joining us. You're the final piece in the puzzle. The world will soon have a new order. Mom, what are you doing? Don't be sad. Everything is going to be fine. She's not your mom. Being that you are the key, the last piece of the puzzle, and the one that started this. I was planning something a bit more theatrical for you and Neron. Neron's father wanted to be here, but times being what they are. No! Allison, no! Stay back! Bring me the dagger. It's time for the new millennium. Do 
this, sweetheart? He's your son. I'm mom. <laughs> Go to the park. I'll buy you an ice cream cone. Don't you remember when you were a little girl? I still have one of the ribbons from your hair. <laughs> Grab the baby. Let's get out of here. Meryl's gonna be fine. Look at me. Look at me. Look, I know I haven't earned your trust, okay? I know. I know I've done a lot of bad things in this. But trust me when I say this. The mole told me. Look at me. He told me. If we can clear him from evil, he will be innocent again. The mole told me. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. 